Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. We are gathered here today in the sight of God and in the presence of this wonderful company of people to witness the joining together of this handsome young man, Isaiah Rivera, and this beautiful young woman, Janice Tucker, in holy matrimony. The Bible teaches us that marriage is a holy institution established by God when he said, it is not good that man should be alone. I will make a helper suitable for him. God clarified the intent of marriage when he said, and the two shall be one. The Lord Jesus honored and sanctified the wedding in Cana of Galilee with his presence. And it was there that he performed his first miracle. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 13, verse 4, give honor to marriage and remain faithful to one another in marriage. God will surely judge people who are immoral and those who commit adultery. A healthy marriage then comes from the understanding that you are making a covenant with God today to live out your life in the earth with another imperfect human being. Do not demand perfect performance. Commit to helping one another realize a meaningful, happy life. To maintain a healthy marriage, you must communicate well and forgive often. You were raised in two different homes and you were learning two different standards. Your marriage will remain fresh as you learn more about each other and commit to selflessly loving your partner more than you do yourself. Let us pray. Father, bless this occasion today and place your hand upon Isaiah and Janice as they make this commitment of marriage. In this setting, let a profound realization of the sacredness of marriage fill all of our hearts and teach us to live effectively in our marriage unions to your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you may take your seats. Isaiah. Will you have this woman to be your wedded wife, to live together in matrimony after God's holy order? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her, and forsaking all others, keep yourself only to her so long as you both shall live? I do. Janice, will you have this man to be your wedded husband, to live together in matrimony after God's holy order? Will you love him, honor him, and forsaking all others, keep yourself only to him so long as you both shall live? I do. It's my understanding that, these, that this lovely couple have they've written their own vows. I will give it, uh, this opportunity at this time for them to share their vows. We'll start with Isaiah. First of all, you look beautiful. Thank you. You too. Well, you look handsome. <laughs> <laughs> I love you so much. I never would have thought the girl I had a huge crush on in high school would be my wife nine years later. We met on the school bus and instantly clicked. There was something about you that was different from the rest. Maybe it was your beauty, maybe it was your style, or maybe it was the way I felt so at peace just being with you. It's not often you find your soulmate at such a young age, but God definitely blessed me with mine. I vow to always protect you. I vow to always support you and your dreams. I vow to care for you on your worst days and celebrate your best days. I vow to always put you first before myself. I vow to be the best husband and future father to our children. Lastly, I just want to tell you that I love you so much and I can't wait to see what the future has in store for us. That was beautiful. And now, Janice. Isaiah. I know that for us, it's weird to be vulnerable and emotional, but this very moment, let's reminisce on the last nine years that we've had together. From my mom picking you up from school, and when we saw you at the bus stop, to our Dunkin' runs every morning in high school, to eventually doing long distance with each other. Throughout all those moments, 
I feel that that shaped us to have our beautiful relationship we have today. I'm a firm believer and everything happens for a reason. God placed you in my life at the perfect time. <sighs> From the day I saw you, I knew there was something special about you. Even when we were friends, you were always there for me, and Lord knows how bad I needed that. <laughs> Who would have known that one day you would be my husband? Our school one days were the best days for me because I could forget about everything and just feel free for at least a moment. From the start, you were always my home, even when I didn't realize it yet. I'm standing here today because you are the best person I have ever met. You're caring, hardworking, and funny, even though sometimes I'd hate to admit it. At my lowest moments, you're always there to pick my head up and tell me everything's gonna be okay. And I know my grandmother would have loved you so much. <laughs> Sorry. Ooh. I must admit that I was always scared of love. And as I prayed for God to show me what a man is supposed to represent, you were breaking down each barrier that I put over my heart until my heart was completely exposed. God turned you into such an amazing man right before my eyes. It hasn't always been easy. And when we met, we were only kids, but we made it through every storm together. And I can't wait to do that for the rest of our lives. With that being said, I promise to love you fiercely. I promise to choose you before anyone else. I promise to always make you laugh because you know I'm hilarious too. <laughs> I promise to be the best mother to our children one day, just like I know you will be the best father in the world. But most importantly, I know people say till death do us part, but I promise that I'll find you in every lifetime. <laughs> I love you. Both very powerful vows. What token do you give to commemorate this pledge? The rings. The Bible tells us that when God made a covenant with Noah, he set a rainbow in the cloud as the symbol of his covenant and said, I will look upon it that I may remember this everlasting covenant. From this we learn that it is well for us whenever we enter into a solemn agreement to set aside some reminder. You have selected these rings to be reminders of your marriage covenant. They are made of gold, a most enduring substance which fittingly represents the ties that bind husband and wife. The ring is an endless circle unless broken by some outside force. It is a true symbol of unbroken union, which is to continue until broken by death. Let them be the seals of your mutual faithfulness and affection and a memorial of this holy service. Isaiah, take the ring and put it on Janice's finger and repeat these vows after me. Janice. Janice. With this ring. With this ring. I thee wed. I thee would. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Ghost. And of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Janice, take the ring and put it on Isaiah's finger and repeat these vows after me. Isaiah. Isaiah. With this ring. With this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Ghost. And of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Let's ask God blessing upon this union. Heavenly Father, I pray your blessings upon this couple as they begin their journey together. I pray that no storm of life, no temptation of the flesh shall be able to destroy their faith in one another or in you. Be with them in all the joys and sorrows of life. And may they live in such a way that they enjoy life everlasting with you in Jesus' name. Amen. For as much as you both have consented together in holy wedlock and have exchanged 
your pledge of love and commitment to one another. I, therefore, a minister of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, ministering in the name of our Lord and by the authority of the state of Florida, pronounce you husband and wife in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. You may kiss your bride. Would you two face the congregation? This is such a beautiful couple. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to present to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Isaiah Rivera.